Dear viewers, starting from January of 2022, stock market started receding and coming down from levels of 62,000 on the Sensex all the way down to 53,000. What are we seeing during the last two weeks? We saw a bounce from 53,000 on the Sensex to a level of about 57 to 58,000 on the Sensex. It gives an impression that the markets are climbing all over again. In this episode, I am going to discuss about what might happen in the marketplace going forward from here and what is that the investors have to keep in mind before they take action on the stock market bounce what they are seeing right now. This is NRA Money Clinic for you and I am Dr. Chandra Khan but investment consultant and a financial planner. NRI Money Clinic. No hype, just the right advice. Dear viewers, you saw Sensex giving up from 62,000 going back to 53,000 and right now at 57 to 58,000 on the Sensex. What might happen going forward from here? Will the stock market reclimb the previous highs and a new highs are coming anytime soon? Or will the market continue to correct further downwards? Or will the market stagnate around this particular place? What might happen? In this episode, let's look at the different possibilities what might happen and let's take a judgmental call. What is the best course of action the investors need to take? In my personal opinion, depending on what I have seen in the marketplace during the last three decades, this correction what we are going to see right now is going to be a prolonged correction. It is not something which you saw in the March 20. 20 period where the sensex corrected from 40 to 27,000 then rallied all the way up to 62,000. If you are believing that this correction which went up to 53,000 is going to result in new highs anytime soon, the chances are that you will be disappointed for a long period of time. The current events that are panning out, the macros that are we are seeing in the marketplace all are suggesting that this correction will be a prolonged correction. When the corrections happen, the corrections will happen in two different varieties. One is called the price correction. When the prices move too fast, the prices will come down. This is called the price correction in the market. And if it is because of a reaction like what you saw during the pandemic period, they may retrace it back very, very soon. There is another type of correction which can happen in the marketplace. Now that the prices have moved very high up, instead of prices coming down to a deep point, market may stagnate around the same place and spend time there. It doesn't move higher up nor it will come down to a great extent. It will stagnate. This is called a consolidation phase or a sideward movement of the market. If the markets are very hopeful of the future, such a consolidation phase happens. See, we have seen that phase during 2014 after the initial run up of the market from 18,000 towards 30,000. Later on, the market stagnated for next three to four years without giving up. So this is created out of an hope. Now in this scenario, are we facing a hope for the future or what is happening at the current time in the marketplace? What might happen in the stock market going forward? Let's look at point by point. If I look at the macro picture across the globe, I see only the headwinds for the market. We do not see any tailwinds. So there is nothing which can propel market on the higher side. Now recently we saw the Ukraine war the Ukraine war was not expected to such an extent. So you can say it's a Ukraine war reaction. But because of this Ukraine war, the crude oil prices have gone very high up. Now when the crude oil prices go up, the countries which depend on imports for their energy requirements will face the headwinds. India is one such country which depends on imported oil for its energy requirement. So it's a negative for Indian markets. It's its trade bills could go up because of this crude oil prices. It is just not India alone. For several countries in the world, the situation is similar. Even if they are not getting the imported oil from outside, even within their economies, the 
rise in crude oil prices can result in further inflationary pressures so unless the crude oil really comes off or to a manageable levels this will become a severe headwind for the stock markets not to climb for here onwards let's look at the inflation numbers across the globe if you look at the scenario in us us has an inflation number of 7% that kind of an inflation numbers has not been seen in us for decades together this is a massive problem which is there on the hands for the central banks or the managers of the economy something needs to be done to bring down this inflation this inflation has crept in because of the loose monetary policies now because of this oil rate high this will be aggravated further on so unless the inflation really comes down what might happen is the profitability of the companies will come down because of increase in the raw material prices and if they do not have a pricing power to pass on it to the consumers then the chances are their profitability will come down so the inflation across the globe today is in an unbearable level if you look at different countries in most of the countries the inflation numbers are very high interest rates are far lower than the inflation number resulting in negative interest rates for the investors so inflation number clearly tells there is a massive headwind for the stock markets from here onwards what's happening with the interest rate cycle the world is just getting out of the pandemic mode to tide over the problems of pandemic the central banks across globes have followed loose monetary policies accommodative monetary policies as a result of which the interest rates are zero or closer to zero or at a very benign level inflation is very high most part of the world the interest rates are negative now because of these things the inflation is getting out of control the only way the central governments can reverse this situation where the interest rates have to be higher than the inflation is either tame the inflation fully down or slowly start increasing the interest rates now the interest rate up cycle will start all over the world and in phases the interest rates are going to move up when the interest rates goes up either the cost of the capital moves up or the demand destruction might happen so the interest rates up cycle beyond a particular point can become a severe headwind for the stock market so if you look at the interest rate cycle i can only see the market slowing down from here onwards the next factor which can decide the course of the market is the growth numbers as we can see the growth numbers are quite comfortable the growth is happening but when inflation takes over when the interest rates moves up it's obvious that it will take a toll on the growth numbers so growth looks to be okay but when the interest rates move up and when the inflation is taking over the chances of growth coming down are stagnating or becoming not that attractive is very much real so what is the possibility again this will work like a headwind for the markets markets cannot expect a very high tick numbers on the growth front so if you look at any parameters at this point of time there is nothing which is visible which can say markets are experiencing a tailwind and because of which the markets may move up higher from here onwards so when i look at all these things in total what i feel is the best case scenario for the market is market getting stagnant at this point a thousand points up or a few thousand points down and it gets stagnant here that's the best case scenario but the most likely event which might pan out is that over next few quarters or maybe one or two years market will slowly starts drifting down and may see much lower levels from what we are seeing right now that's a distinct possibility if markets are not going to conquer newer heights are not going to move up further on from here or likely to drift down in quarters ahead of us what is the right thing for the investors to do in such a scenario the best thing for the investors to do is to create a multi asset portfolio what is the advantages of creating a multi asset portfolio a multi asset portfolio will have different types of asset classes it will have gold it will have debt it will have equity how equity will perform over period of time nobody can predict but if the interest rates are going to go up if you are in a proper debt funds then you are likely to be benefited from that likewise if you are invested in commodities or in 
case of gold when the inflation rages up your portfolio will be supported by the valuations of gold likewise when the emerging market currencies go down if you have gold in your portfolio that is will also become a balancer in your portfolio a multi asset portfolio is the best thing that you can do under such circumstances likewise if you are a long term investors all that you have to do is you have to constantly keep on rebalancing your portfolio as per the movement in the stock market now let's take the example somebody has set up 40% debt and 60% equity in his portfolio and because equities have corrected now the chances are that the proportion of equity has gone down and the proportion of debt has gone up now at periodical intervals of time let's say once in 6 months or maybe once in a year you have to reset this debt equity allocation to your predetermined levels is a good idea to have carry some gold in your portfolio what you need to avoid is the knee jerk reaction getting too much attracted to equity because equity has come down pouring a disproportionate amount of money into the equity sector or because gold is moving up selling something else and taking over position in the gold all these things have to be avoided you have a balanced approach make sure you have debt gold and equity all the three in your portfolio it's a good idea that you work with the financial planners take their opinion and set your asset allocation in a proper way that's the right thing to do in such a circumstance now let us look at what is that the investors must not be doing in such a circumstance the first thing is giving knee jerk reactions you are attracted to equity because equity was moving up now equity has corrected now don't lose faith in equities and completely shun away equity and start selling at loss and go and put your money in the bank equities avoid any kind of a knee jerk reaction that should never be resorted point 2 you should also avoid momentum chasing the stock market may be coming down something else is moving up the commodities are moving up the gold could be moving up the bank interest rates are likely to move up these possibilities are there so don't try to chase momentum something is moving up that's why you completely shun the other asset classes and move towards something which is moving on the momentum side avoid momentum chasing momentum chasing is a losers game whether it's equity or whether it's gold or whether it is a debt do not chase momentum rather stick with a balanced portfolio that you have decided to invest in the third thing that the investor should avoid is abrupt changes to the portfolio you have set up some asset allocation today you are staying invested there just because something happened in the marketplace do not make abrupt changes in your portfolio when you are making changes in your portfolio it should be gradual it should be as per a predetermined timeline once in 6 months or once in a year and it should be a well thought about action do not be reactive in the market it makes sense for you to be proactive think properly and think about what all the possible situation which might unfold and based on that make well thought out changes in your portfolio completely avoid abrupt changes in your portfolios Now that I have told this market is not likely to conquer newer highs any time soon is it something good for you or is it something bad for you the answer lies depending on what you do in the marketplace if you are an indisciplined investor or if you are a investor who is giving a knee jerk reaction this may not work out very well for you but if you are a long term investors you have nothing to worry about if you constantly keep rebalancing your portfolio you have nothing to worry about see two good things or two bad things will not last long if you see extremely good period it is certain that this good periods will come to an end likewise if you see too bad a phase in the market that too will end so over a period of time reversion to mean is a rule of nature even today's circumstance will follow to a mean levels at some point of time you should just have sufficient in of patience no doubt this market will test your patience will it come back in a few quarters or it could take a couple of years only time will answer 
my best case scenario or my best possible judgment i can think of at this stage is it is bound to check your patience markets are likely to stagnate or markets may drip down from here for a couple of years is a distinct possibility if you are an investor in the stock market today make sure that you have abundant patience have minimum 5 years time the ideal time frame in stock market could be in excess of 5 to 10 years time if you do not have a 5 years time horizon it's best you avoid equities at this point of time if you are a short term investor your success depends on calling the right asset class to invest if you invest in uh, interest bearing instruments like bank fixed deposits or maybe uh, short duration bonds probably they will work out when the interest rates are moving up likewise because of inflation the gold might also move up so if you are a short term investor you should stay with the trend and you should probably staying in the debt or maybe a bit of a gold but you must completely avoid getting over exposed to any one single sector the best thing to follow is as i said earlier a multi asset portfolio is in your best interest dear viewers i would like to hear from you what do you think about the events which are panning out at the marketplace what might happen what do you think many of you who are watching this video could be the seasoned investors you would have seen markets over several decades or several cycles i would like to hear from you what do you think and what is the right decision people have to take under such a circumstances please make sure that you drop a comment below dear viewers i am a practicing financial planner if any of you are looking out for the services of a professional financial planner to reach your life goals of retirement corpus or child education or wealth building or any of them you can make best use of our services also i have shown my number here on the screen through a whatsapp message from any corner of the world you can reach to us either myself or one of our financial planners in the team will help you build a very robust financial plan for you to reach your life goals dear viewers hope the video that i have done today helped you to understand what might happen in the stock markets going forward from here if it gave you an idea what is the course of action you have to follow please like this video if you are a person who is watching this channel for the first time or if you are yet to subscribe for this channel please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon don't forget to share this video with your near and dear ones thank you very much for watching this episode on nri money clinic i shall be back with you with yet another topic in yet another video very very soon press the bell icon for more details and subscribe our channel